Hey, TikTok, what's up, man? Listen, I'm outside, you know, my favorite spot, Big 2-5, my favorite bar. Hey, we're gonna celebrate tonight. Watch me. ID and event pass? It's crazy. Here you are. Wouldn't want to miss out on all the fun. Out of a, you know, technicality. <laughs> Seems there's an issue. The event tonight is private gathering, invitation only. A special event? But I got I got the invite right here. What do you What do you mean? It was sent last week. You know, that might be, but things change. And tonight's event is very selective. Not everyone's privy to the latest updates, especially people of certain quality. I think you know what I mean. But I, I've seen, I've seen so many people walk in already, like, my friends are already here, like, they're even sending me photos, like, what? Are you sure there's no mistake? Our guest list is meticulously curated, and you're not on it. I'm not here to argue and make exceptions, and I'm sure your friends snuck your way into this establishment. There's no way they could have made it on the guest list. After I'm done with you, I'm gonna go take care of them. Honestly, this, this cannot be happening. We planned this for weeks, like, there's always, there's a way to verify at least. Ah, plenty. Sometimes it just doesn't work out and today, it doesn't. For you. You used the word you people earlier? I'm not sure if I follow. Can you run that back for me? What, what are you talking about? Look, I've seen it before. You and your lot come in all flash and noise, disturbing all our regulars. This is a classy establishment and we don't want your hip hop hooligans stinking up the joint. It's my job to keep the peace. My lot? <laughs> you mean my childhood friends who are all wanting to celebrate my birthday with me? We're not even here to cause a disturbance. They're, they're, you're tripping. There has to be something un understanding. I've said all I'm going to say. The list is final and you're not on it. Now, you get the hell out of here while I'll go get your friends. <sighs> Thanks for nothing, I, I guess. Well, folks, <laughs> that is how not to get into a bar. Um, but it's whatever, it's cool, you know, the night is still young. I'm gonna still go outside and have a good time. Hopefully, don't, don't even bother coming here. Hopefully y'all don't have to deal with this type of attitude, you know, so. Yeah, we, we going somewhere else. Oh gosh, this is so weird. It's so unlike Tyrone to be so late, especially on such a special occasion like his birthday. I mean, gosh, we've been planning this for weeks. I don't know, I guess I'll give him a few more minutes before I call him. Hmm. Kevin, have you seen Tyrone? There, there's no way you could have missed him. He's not picking up and, and it's getting late. This is so unlike him. <laughs> the, the wannabe rapper is named Tyrone? I still can't believe that sort of riff rap wore such an absurdly obnoxious jacket. He did come by earlier, but don't worry, I had to send him away. His outfit was not right. You know how we try to maintain a certain standard here. Uh, uh, not right? What What do you mean? It's his birthday, Kevin. What was wrong with his clothes? He always has meticulous taste, and I've never once seen him badly dressed at our bar before. How do I put this delicately? It's just that he didn't fit the image we're trying to uphold. It's better for business if we keep a certain Uniformity. Uniformity. Since when do we prioritize image over our patron's feelings? Especially a regular like Tyrone. Not only has he been coming to this place for years, he's also the biggest TikTok star right now with over 10 million followers. Do you realize what you've done? Look, Rachel, it doesn't matter how many followers he has. They're probably all fake anyway, like bots. The key point is about setting a precedent. If we let people like Tyrone slide, then others like him might think they can come too. This isn't about clothes anymore, is it, Kevin? There's something else at play here. What's the real reason you turned him away? It's exactly as I said. It's about maintaining standards. Besides, people like him can bring down the tone of the whole place. Wow. People like him. Kevin, you are sounding extremely racist and prejudiced. 
I can't believe I'm hearing the words that are coming from your mouth. That's not what this bar stands for. Now please explain to me how Tyrone, one of our most loyal customers and my dearest friend from university who even helped me build this bar is suddenly not right to come in. Well, when you put it that way, I... I well Goodness, Kevin. This video of you turning Tyrone away, it's everywhere. It already has 5 million views in 15 minutes, and the comments are all calling you out for your discrimination. You're becoming a meme right before our very eyes. No, no, you, you can't be serious. I can't believe this. Not only was your action wrong, but it's also now reflecting on this bar. I won't stand for this. Rachel, please. No, I Kevin, didn't... this is unacceptable. You've crossed a line. Get your things. You're fired. Oh, Tyrone, wait up! What's up, Rachel? Honestly, I'm really not in the mood right now. I, I totally understand, but please hear me out. I just caught wind of your post about Kevin's appalling behavior, and I am so deeply sorry. It was ignorant and absolutely not reflective of our values here. We stand for equality and respect. Yeah, uh, thanks, but you know, it's, it's a tough pill to swallow, so. Being singled out like that is just not cool. You're absolutely right. And I am not going to stand by and let this sort of thing slide. Kevin's employment here has been terminated. I won't have someone tarnishing our name with such hateful and racist actions. Honestly, hearing that actions being taken place is a relief and it's important for places like this and friends such as yourself. You know, just setting an example, so thank you for that. Exactly. And, and I want to do more than just set examples. I'm going to ensure that this is a learning opportunity for everyone here. I'm organizing sensitivity training for all staff starting immediately. It was such a shock that someone such as Kevin could have been working at my establishment for so long. That's a powerful step. You know, education is key and no one should feel alienated or threatened because of who they are. And. I'd love for you to be a part of that. See, your voice and experience could be invaluable in driving that message home. For sure, for sure. You know, I'd be glad to contribute. I mean, change starts with conversations like these. Wonderful. But you know what? For tonight, let's make things right. How about we get you set up at our exclusive VIP table? First round's on me. And the DJ's got a playlist you'll love. Hope we can still make your birthday celebration a memorable and amazing evening. Cool, I mean, <laughs> sounds like a plan. Turning a negative into a teachable moment, and I'm sure we'll all party it up tonight, you know? I mean, we've been planning this for weeks, so I'm happy it's coming together at some point. And you know what? That's the spirit, and there's more to come. I wanna start featuring more creators from diverse backgrounds here. How about we start with a collaboration? A night curated by you, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, see, that's something I love to see, honestly. Uh, making this space more inclusive is a win for everyone. Uh, I'll make sure to reach out to my following and, you know, I'm, I'm going to see which creators will be interested in performing here. So, honestly, that's, that's a great idea. Thanks, Rach. It's a new era for us. I want everyone who walks in to feel welcome, respected, and part of our community. This will be our pledge from now on. Listen, I'm, I'm going to hold you to that. Let's make a difference together, so, come on. There's a party waiting for us, and I'm not trying to be out here anymore, so. Amen to that. And like I said before, first round is on the house. <laughs> All right, let's get it.